Evening. RDOT tells me they want to widen Highway 112 from here in Tawnytown all the way south to the Fayetteville line. But they tell me that before they put a single shovel in the ground, they want to get the public's thoughts on the project first. Nearly 10,000 vehicles a day use Highway 112 between Tawnytown and Fayetteville, but the windy two-lane road is struggling to handle the additional traffic Northwest Arkansas growth has placed on it. RDOT says they want to widen the road to two lanes in each direction from just south of Highway 412 to Pierre Crossing in Fayetteville. Chad Adams is the engineer for District 4. The road itself hasn't changed. It's just it's carrying more traffic, so the likelihood of an accident obviously goes up with that. It's, it's a narrow road. It doesn't have shoulders for the most part, so um, it, it, with that much traffic on it, you, you want to try to do what you can to help uh, alleviate those concerns. Plans also call for seven roundabouts as part of the four mile project. One of those roundabouts will happen at Great House Springs Road, where RDOT will remove a dangerous S bend. But that requires an archaeological dig first because the new road will pass through an archaic base camp. Archaeologist Jack Rawson showed me around saying they found arrowheads, bowls, and plates, and other ancient objects. Most of the material appears to be between five and seven thousand years old, and we're trying to determine the significance of the site. So it's called a phase two testing, and we're trying to determine if it's important enough to do a major excavation here before the road work starts. And guys, RDOT officials tell me they have had a couple of meetings on this project in the past. Unfortunately, it was during the COVID-19 pandemic and participation was quite low. The meeting on December 1st is actually the public's first opportunity to come in person, see the plans, and express any thoughts or concerns they may have. In Tawnytown, Robert Sir 40, 29 News.